Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. The AFS Connect Farm Management System from Case IH connects you and only you to the information you need most from your equipment from anywhere at any time. AFS Connect, only from Case IH. As fall tillage rolls along, one of the problems that many of us are trying to fix is compaction created by the planter. On a recent Ag PhD radio show, we discussed the two best ways to eliminate such compaction. I'll address them in today's Iron Talk. When it's time to plant and soils are wet, you can only realistically wait so long. At some point, you just end up planting, even if conditions aren't perfect. With the size of planters growing dramatically and with central fill units becoming much more prevalent, the four tires taking the brunt of that weight are driven into your soil, creating ruts that severely limit the yield of the rows on either side of them. We have a two-row combine for harvesting our small replicated research plots. Yield loss on those rows on either side of deep compaction can easily be 10 to 25% or much more. On 200 bushel corn, that could be 50 bushels. The two solutions are, number one, to switch back to individual boxes for each row on the planter. This spreads out the weight load evenly across the planter. Or, number two, is to use tracks on the planter rather than wheels to spread out the load. Of course, using both solutions would be the best of all, but since most people don't want to give up their central fill units, well, you can see the dilemma. Think about this going into the winter, especially if you're trying to fix compaction from your planter with a fall tillage pass right now. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now, back to the show.